Okay guys, we're back to the electrolytic capacitor and uh, we're going to fire it 4,000 volts with the dual series spark gap, uh, gas discharge tubes, which I'll show you what they are. They're inside this fancy little box here. These are them here. So, uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to charge this guy up. This camera is all out of focus, a crazy thing. I don't know what's wrong with it. All right, well, we got 57 volts in here now, so we'll just turn it on. I'll show you. Uh, dual spark gap there. I don't know why this camera is so blurry. Uh, we're pulling 12 watts, maybe 13 watts. And uh, there's 60 volts, just about. Yeah, I don't have any idea why this thing's so blurry. Garbage, that's all they sell. Uh, all right, so uh, 61 volts and 12 watts. We're running on about 7 volts, 7.2 volts, 1.6 amps. So this would probably work really good for uh, charging a battery or something like that. Especially if you maybe put an earth ground on there. We're up to what, 66 volts. Now it quit. This is a little temperamental with these uh, electrolytics. It's probably a bad connection there on that second gap. I have no explanation for this phone though, other than it's a piece of shit made by Apple. So what do you expect? 12.4 watts. It's not charging the cap anymore. It's still running though. We need it to discharge. And it's not going to do it. So we got it up to 68 volts though, so that's pretty not too bad. Uh, again, same capacitor. Uh, wherever it is, 6,200 microfarads. All right, that's it. Ciao.